Hi YouTube, my name's Drew and you're watching Drawing with Drew. I've been getting a lot of questions recently regarding my UG 1910B tablet and a lot of people seem to be having some issues with them. So I figured that what I would do to help you guys out is maybe create a video series where I do kind of short videos about potential problems and how you can fix them. So let's flash over to my UG uh, 1910B drawing monitor and we'll uh, attack the questions that are the most frequently asked on their website. So the question that I'm gonna answer in today's video is, is my tablet defective? So I'll just turn on my UG here. You've now installed your driver, or you think you have, and you wanna see if it's working properly. If you're using an Apple product, it'll be in the Applications folder here. Scroll down until you see the Touch Tablet folder. Click it once, then click the Tablet Settings. This box will pop up, and you're gonna to wanna to select the Pen option at the top here. And I'm simply gonna draw into this box here to test the pressure sensitivity. So as you can see, my tablet is working perfectly. So now you fall either into the category that you're Pen is not working properly when you're drawing in a program and uh, you've tested it out using the method I just showed you and your pressure sensitivity settings are okay, everything's working, then you can probably be safe to assume that the pro problem lies in the program that you're using. If, on the other hand, you were not able to get any sort of pressure sensitivity and you didn't see a pen while testing in that little white box area, then you're gonna want to uninstall your driver and you're gonna try to reinstall it again just in case there was something that messed up during that process. To uninstall your driver, you're gonna do the exact same thing that you did to find the tablet settings. You're going to go to your applications folder, scroll down to the touch tablet folder, and simply click the uninstall tablet driver button. If you originally tried installing your driver from the CD that comes with the UG1910 unit, I would uh, suggest maybe uninstalling that one and actually going to the website because they claim that the, uh, the ones on the website are the most up-to-date and I've never had issues using those ones. So I hope this video helped you guys. Uh, if it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it a lot. And uh, if it didn't answer your question, then check my channel because I'm going to be doing a series of a whole bunch of different commonly asked questions and hopefully you can find it there. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can stay tuned. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you in the next video.